Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss, with analysis for May 20th, 2016. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. In the previous session, uh, what I mentioned before was that we were still in a trading range market for the most part. Uh, I know that prices were trading below 2031. I mentioned that all prices below 2031s were going to be considered a value, and you would likely see bulls come in and defend it and return prices back up toward 2077s. And so far, we've seen a nice defense of those lows here. We've seen prices rally up toward 50, and uh, and right now we're holding. So this is going to be interesting here, how this plays out. I, I don't think that this could be a clean runaway to the upside. Um, we could see another retest of 2030s in this area, but I still think if 2030 continues to hold a support, we could see a continuation for a move back across the range. Uh, at some point, keep an eye on 2049 here. That's MC BPOC of the current micro composite range. We also have 2061 above. So the market has been playing between these two key levels right now. Uh, so again, as I mentioned before, we're in a trading range market. There wasn't much edge trading around 41, six, rather 61 and 49, but getting down below 2030 was a great short-term buying opportunity back up. Now we have to see if the market can uh, continue to, to take a hold of, of prices beyond the previous session's high and extend the range. Right now, those prices currently being rejected. Uh, if we look at an intraday time frame here, you can see how prices have continued higher. One thing we were looking at in the previous session was how is price going to uh, deal with the 2030 key level. And I mentioned in the trading room that we would likely see price come down and form some sort of, of attempt at, at acceptance below this range. But upon a failure, we would likely see a reversal back up. And, you know, it took a little while, but you can see that price did eventually uh, round off, and broke to the upside, came back, held the 2030s as support, and then we've seen a rally into 47 halves so far this morning. So a very solid continuation. But as I mentioned before, we could see a return to 2030, and uh, any pullback as low as 2030s could still offer an opportunity to defend on a swing basis. So today could be a little hairy the way it plays out. We do have one data point coming out later on this, uh, this morning at 9 a.m., existing home sales, so that could provide some sort of stimulus. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on this. Again, above 49s opens the door to 61s. Let's take a look at crude oil. Here's crude oil, the previous session here. This is the June 2016 contract, uh, continuous contract. We have 47, 46, the previous month's high on this contract. Uh, price pushed through it when it returned here. It was defended. That's what we were looking for the previous session for a push higher. Uh, and that move right there alone you know, a dollar, dollar fifty, you know, of movement in that direction at the very least. So it's a very solid move so far. Uh, what we're seeing early this morning here, pre-market, is a rejection of prices above the high, at least as of right now, and that could open up a return back to this support level. Uh, we'll see how this continues to play out, but overall, as I mentioned before, um, pullbacks are still buying opportunities for a continuation higher, perhaps into the next HV and above. Uh, which is 49.80, and then the LVN at 40, uh, 51.65. So we could still see more strength to the upside. However, uh, as long as prices remain above this 47.46 general area, we should remain continued bullish, but there could be a range that forms as well. These haven't been perfect uh, continuations. It's been a little choppy, and then you see a move up. So look for some sort of behavior to, uh, that, that resembles that move. Uh, now, if we're looking at the intraday time frame, what you'll notice here is we also got a nice reversal after the previous session here. We came in, we found this double bottom low. We saw that happen live in the trading room. We were able to watch the order flow, and we were looking for a squeeze back to the 4770s. We got it right away. Once we got that squeeze, we were looking for defense of the previous month's high at 4746 again. It came on a few rotations, and from there, we saw a significant rally to the close where we've continued higher. So 4740, 47.70 is a very important level. That's the previous week's high. Uh, again, as I mentioned before, with the ES, if price does pull back, it still could be a buying opportunity off this area for a continuation higher. Um, keep an eye on five-day VPOC. That's 48.42. So far, that's been bid, so the retest will want to be defended as well by bulls for a retest of the highs. Failure to hold 48.42 opens up a rotation back toward 
4770. Taking a look at gold now. This is gold. The previous, uh, uh, earlier in the week, what we had was this high that came into play. What I mentioned was that could be a rejection top that leads us to these downside targets, the primary bear target for the week and the secondary bear target for the week. And you can see that after that high, boom, 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 three days, and we reached each of those downside targets. After reaching uh, those targets and seeing a range already over the last four days, a range that uh, equals the average range over the last 10 weeks, you know, we have one day here where we're forming an inside day. So this could be very quiet. Uh, I say that given the current pullback, we could see a little bit more to the downside into 2036 half. That's composite BPOC. But overall, pullbacks have been defended. So I think after we found, find a bottom here, this could be defended for another rotation higher. But right now, very, very sloppy gold trading. And it's very difficult to stay in a move right now. Overall, I think that the lean is up, but you got to be very, very careful with this rodeo of a chart. All right, let's take a look at the NQ. And the NQ here has been trading a very tight range, 4271 up to 4403. That's been the range. Uh, you can see MCV POC here is 32 quarter. That's where we're currently trading around. There's no real edge at the moment here at these prices. The previous session I mentioned below 4300 at or below 4300. That's where they've been defending, right? Uh, we got below it and rejected back above it. So the range is still in effect here. I think if, if prices can continue to, to stay bid at 4,300, then there's a shot to rotate to 44. If we get to 44, you're likely going to see it rotate back down. So right now, it's, it's basically a game of fading new highs, new lows. This was a new low over the last couple of weeks, and it was faded. If price comes up and pops above 4,403, likely to see that high get faded. Until proven otherwise, that's likely going to be the path that we see. And again, right at the center of this microcomposite range, not a lot of edge right now, at least on a swing basis. Looking at the NQ on an intraday chart, here's the reversal we were looking for the previous session. Very nice, occurred on a double bottom as well. Rallied higher, pulled back and continued. We were watching 4,300 here, so I mentioned to the trading room that it's okay if price comes below 4,300, they're going to try and get everybody short here, and then they're going to use their stops and squeeze them. And the move can happen overnight. You may op open up with a gap up is what we were talking about in the room, those types of things, and you can see it's played out very nicely. And when that happens, uh, you, you typically have a nice return to the upside on your hands, uh, and now pullbacks are likely to be defended back at the point where the stops came out. So again, between 4300 and 4304 here, this could be an area to defend should price pull back that low. I don't know if it will, but that tells you right now that the market's kind of leaning to the upside. Uh, as this thing perhaps pushes toward 4,400. Short term, I would say that the five-day VPOC 4,319 is an area to defend for a push higher, but failure to hold that level opens up 4,303s, and that's the major level to defend for bulls. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and happy Friday.